Fenway Park reopens to fans tomorrow, and while everyone is happy to be back, we are, of course, still in the middle of a pandemic. WBZ's Kevin McLeod reports that that will change game day at the ballpark. Amid COVID concerns, the Sox have announced there will be no day of tickets released here at Gate E to stop the tradition of fans camping out overnight here on Lansdowne Street. Initially, it wasn't about baseball at all. But we still found Ann McGee at her easel, getting some opening day excitement from the other side of the green monster. The structure just really turns me on. It's crazy. I don't know why. The Sox 110th season at Fenway will launch tomorrow in a fashion that fits the times, with only 4,500 masked fans allowed, seated in pairs and fours. Among them, this couple from the Dominican Republic, Big Poppy's homeland. And we are so excited to see the the first game. The Sox have a special pregame ceremony plan to honor health care heroes, including a military flyover. Having people back in Fenway is going to be huge for us. Despite the soggy forecast, nearby businesses are hoping this is an important step. We're finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, and um, it, it's we're getting there. I just hope that it's uh, sooner rather than later. And I missed it, and I love it. And I'm just happy to return. We spotted Marilee Morrison on her way to resume her kitchen job at Fenway, and she was feeling it. This is what we've been waiting for, a return to normal. You know, and, it, and it's the Red Sox. Are you kidding me? And then, of course, I got hooked. <laughs> Back at her easel, Ann McGee admits that painting the old ballpark has made her into a Sox fan of sorts, and she's hoping that baseball season brings a fresh palette to the city's COVID recovery. I think there's a lot of like memories embedded in the park. Fans are requested to be in their seats by 1.30 with the pregame ceremony starting shortly after and first pitch against the Orioles at 2.10, weather permitting. At Fenway tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.